All right, here's a video on how to use the laser joint tool in Onshape. So I'm going to create a new uh, document. I might call this um, organizer. I'm going to make a little desktop organizer. And there's a couple ways to go about this, but essentially what you have to do is you have to create, create multiple uh, bodies that intersect at the corners. So one of my favorite ways to do this is to start off by making a box. So I might create a sketch of just some sort of a rectangular shape. Let's say I was trying to make this, uh, let's say three inches by four inches. And I'm gonna make this, um, say, six inches tall. Okay. So let's say I wanted to make this box. I might uh, extrude each side as a one eighth inch thick um, piece because the balsa wood, sorry, the uh, plywood we have in the maker space is one eighth of an inch thick. So let's select this side here. I'm going to click extrude. I'm instead of making it an additional extrude, I'm going to make it a new one. And I'm going to send it into the box for one eighth of an inch. And click my green check mark. So you can see now I actually have two parts. I have my original box and I have this second part that's the right side of that box. I'm going to repeat this with all my additional sides. So let me go ahead and extrude this as a new piece. One eighth of an inch inward. Let's go to this side. Let's extrude this one eighth of an inch inward. Let's do the back side. Extrude this one eighth of an inch inward. And lastly, I want a bottom to this box, so I'm going to use my bottom surface. I'm going to extrude this one eighth of an inch inward. So if you now remove the original part, which is part one, let me hide it, you'll see that I have five sides, each an eighth of an inch. And what's important here is that they're overlapping in these corners. Now I want this box to be a little bit more complicated than that. So I'm also going to add a divider here in the middle. Let's go ahead and create a sketch on the top. And I'm just going to create a rectangle that goes from here to there. I want it to be one eighth of an inch thick as well, because this is also going to be made of the same plywood we have in the maker space. I'm going to select all these regions and I'm going to extrude it downward up to face. I'm going to select the bottom face. So now I have an additional divider in there as well. I'm going to click a green check mark here. Now you would take much more time, maybe have some different compartments or you know more detailed, um, more detailed uh, design. But you can see what I've done is I've made all these one eighth inch thick uh, pieces that intersect at their corners. Now I can highlight them all, and I can go select my laser joint tool. Oh, sorry, it wants me to select the parts now. Select the parts to join. I'm going to select parts two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Everything but that original piece I have in the middle. And what I can do is I can change the number of pins. By that, they mean the number of times that these pieces pin together. So you can see here that there is one, two, three gray pins there. Uh, here, there's one, two, three. And these sections, there's multiple pieces, so the numbers get a little bit finicky, but there's three. You could up the number. Let's say I wanted to make it five. You could see that uh, there would be, it would increase the number there all around. Or let's say six, and you can just see the number of pins increase. So kind of do what, what makes sense to you. Uh, once it looks nice, I wouldn't get too crazy with it. Let's go back to four pins. 
And then once you're done, just click the green check mark. And you'll see what it does now is it removes the area that was overlapping. So there's no more overlap. These parts um, are now, uh, they lock together. And we can laser cut these nice and easy. Um, and it'll be really easy to glue together and it'll be super strong. So that's how you use the laser joint tool.